In this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that allows us to open a specific file in a specific location based on cell values in our spreadsheet. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a folder called Reports by Month and Year, and it has two year folders currently, one for 2021 and one for 2022. If I go into one of the year folders, you can see there's a subfolder for each month of the year. And within the monthly folder, there are three files, one for each of the three branches, branches one through three. So what we want to create is code where all we need to do is key in the month end date that we want to open the folder path to and then link it to these cells here to get a month and year and then select the file name we want to open so if I want to open the branch 2 file for June of 2021 my code is linked to the values in these cells here so all I have to do is click open file and it opens that particular file. I can just change this real quick. If I wanted to open a file in April, maybe branch one this time, I can quickly open the April file for branch number one. So the first thing we wanna do is define our variables in these cells here that will eventually become our file path for the file we wanna open. So for the month, I'm gonna insert the month function, link it to our input cell here, and this will return the month of that date value. For the year, I'm going to insert the year function link it to this cell again and that will return the year. For our file name cell we want to insert a drop down menu selection that contains our three file names branches one through three. So I'm going to click in this cell go up to data and then data validation. I'm going to select the option for list and I'm just going to manually type in those three file names branch one and separate them by a comma so we have branch one branch two and branch three click OK and now we have our values so now we're ready to begin writing our code so we can go up to the developer ribbon click on this visual basic button or hit alt F11 on your keyboard anywhere in this project window I'm gonna right click go to insert and then module we'll call this subroutine open my files and begin by declaring some variables so the first one's gonna be WB for workbook it's gonna be as the data type workbook represents the workbook we're in now we're gonna have a variable called WS for worksheet going to be as the data type worksheet represents the sheet we're on now that contains our cell values we want to use to open our file path. So we're going to have a variable called main path and that is going to be as the data type string and it's going to represent our main file path before we get to our subfolders for the years and months. I'm going to have a variable called month. It's going to be as the data type string also going to represent the value stored in this cell here that contains our month. And we're going to have a similar thing for our year and our file name. So we have one for a year string file name as string and then we're going to have one variable called full path which will eventually contain all of these above string variables combined into one full path so we have two object variables which are our workbook and worksheet so we need to define those and begin those with the keyword set because they're objects 
So I'm going to set our workbook equal to this workbook. I'm going to set our worksheet variable equal to our workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and we're on the first sheet so I can just refer to the index number of that sheet sheet one so now we have our main path variable and we want that equal to this main path here before we get to our subfolders so that is a string so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes and we're eventually going to join this main path to these other month year variables so we need to go ahead and add a slash onto the end of that our month variable is going to be equal to the value stored in this cell here and even though it appears it's just formatted to show two digits if you know it's a single digit value we still need to add an if condition to add a zero onto the front of that if it's a single digit because if you look at our folder names that they're 0102 and that is a string so what we're going to use is the independent if function it's pretty much identical to the regular if you, formula you see in your spreadsheet so we have a logical test expression and what we want to test is if the length of our cell reference which is going to be worksheet our worksheet variable and then range E3 because E3 contains our month value so if that is equal to 1 then what we want to do is put a 0 in front of that value so we want to use 0 in double quotes because this is a string it's part of the file name and we're going to join it to this range reference if it's not a single digit we just want to pull back so if it's October November December we just want to pull it back as it is so that is our false value this is our true value so now we have our year variable and we don't need a condition here we can just simply refer to that cell reference because it will always be a four digit year so that's going to be the cell to the right F3 and then we have our file name in F5 so our file name variable is going to be our worksheet and range F5 so now we have our full path variable that we want to define and that is just going to be a combination of these three variables we just created now to make this a little bit easier what I want to do is go to just any of our destination files click on properties and then security and then we can get the full file path here so I'm just going to copy that and it'll just be easier to kind of see as we build our full path variable what we want to do here so our full path variable is going to be equal to our main path variable and our main path is everything to this point here so you can see it's identical to what we defined up here then we're going to use an and symbol to join this to our year variable because we have a year folder that contains 2021 and 2022 we already added a backslash onto the end of that here and then another and symbol because we need to add a slash again and then month dash year so we have a slash there 
and then our month variable and then a dash and then the year variable again another and symbol to join it to another backslash and then we're joining it to our file name which contains the branch number finally we need to add dot xlsx onto the end of that for the file extension so that should be everything we need there we have our full path now and all we need to do is reference workbooks and then the open method and that just requires a full file path as a string and we have that in our full path variable so now we'll F8 through this to see what's going on here and what we should see when we execute this code is the branch 2 file for April 2021 get opened so I'm going to F8 to execute one line at a time here's our main path variable set to nothing now it's set to the main path we have our month set to 04 we have our year set to 2021. We have our file name set to branch two, and then our full path is our full path there. And then we open this, and there is branch two, April 2021. So now we can assign this to a button so we can go up to our developer ribbon, go to insert, and then macro button here. Draw that in. The name of our subroutine is open my files. So I'm gonna right click edit text, change this to open file. We'll change this to maybe March of 2022 so you can see our formulas adjust here and if we want to look at branch one this time I can click open file and there it is well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe